So I got this three pack of sprays. I'm just gonna do a little spray. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a massive revolution haul. I picked up a ton of their skincare and a few of their new avocado makeup products. So I will be testing the makeup out in a separate video, but today I'm just gonna be doing the skincare, which is why I haven't got any makeup on my face currently. Um, but I also got these glasses today and I think they're super cute. They're prescription and blue light blocking, which is literally ideal because I'm spending a lot more time than normal on the laptop and watching TV. Um, this isn't sponsored, but they were very kindly gifted to me from glassesshop.com. So I will just leave that link below because they're really cheap and they come in really cute designs. I think these are very unique. Um, so I just wanted to mention that and thank you to them for sending me these glasses. I'm actually just gonna take them off though because I'm gonna be putting stuff on my face. So I got a whole load of skincare from Revolution because I haven't actually tried their skincare before and I've really been wanting to. They keep releasing really nice looking bits. So I thought I'd do like a huge haul and kind of try it all out at once. So I got this three pack of sprays, essence sprays. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not 100% sure what essence sprays do. Um, but I did get this pack of three because I thought it'd be really good to try them all out. And they're only £10 for all three, which I thought was a really good price if you wanted to like test their products. So I've got those. I also bought the 12.5% vitamin C super strength formula, which is said to help improve skin radiance. And that's what it says. So I like that. I really do like the vitamin C products. I've got a load of vitamin C stuff from Pixie and i really got on well with that so i went for the higher strength the vitamin c because they do also do that in a three percent if you've got sensitive skin then the lower percentage would probably be better for you but i'm quite lucky in that my skin doesn't really react to anything i put on it so i went for the higher percentage and that one was 10 pounds and this actually is smaller than i thought it's so cute and it's the brightening boost i'm gonna say this wrong ginseng ginseng i'm not sure eye cream um, so I got that and the eye cream was £8 and I also got the little eye roller to go with it and again this is so much smaller than I was expecting it to be but it's so cute and that was also £8. And then last but not least for skincare I got the SPF 30 Protecting Boost and this is for normal to oily skin and this is just their normal moisturiser so I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it all on my face at once but I think because I have quite, because I used to have quite an extensive skincare routine where I do, obviously I'd cleanse first, then I'd do toner, then I'd do like a serum, then a moisturiser. So I think what I'm going to do today is instead of a toner, use one of these essence sprays, which I think is actually the point anyway. And I've really been wanting, I've never used a tea tree spray and I've heard they're really good. So I'm going to use the tea tree one today, then go in with the serum, then go in with the eye cream with the little roller and then finish off with the moisturizer. So I'm just going to pop on my little skincare headband. So I'm really excited to try this three pack because I've heard some really good things about their essence sprays and their toners. So I'm excited to crack in. I'm gonna give the other ones a smell actually. Ooh, that smells like roses. I really like anything with like rose extract in. They're kind of already damp on the top. Mm, that smells good. And this one is a clarifying essence spray with calomel extract. It just says clarifying. So I'm gonna assume that that helps with making your skin look clearer. I'm not sure. I probably should have done my research first, but if anyone knows, let me know down below because I don't remember seeing anything online about it. Generally, I know that tea tree spray is kind of good for pretty much most things. Apparently it gets rid of spots quite well and redness. This one doesn't actually have a smell. This one just says glycolic acid revitalizing essence spray. I really love the colors of these actually. Like the actual liquid is a really cool color. They're quite aesthetically pleasing. And then we've got the tea tree spray, which is obviously gonna smell like tea tree. Oh, I actually, oh, actually I probably can't smell them because the first one had already kind of like leaked a bit or like had one spritz on the lid. Hold on, I'm just gonna do a little spray. I 
Okay, yeah, that doesn't really have a smell. <laughs> and then the tea tree one. And I'm just gonna literally spray this straight in my face. Mm, wow, that's quite a powerful spritz. It smells good though. I actually love the smell of tea tree. Probably should have closed my lips because it's all over my mouth. If you're gonna spray it on your face, maybe like do this because it doesn't taste very good. But it does feel very refreshing and cooling on my face. They would actually be really good to carry around in your bag during summer just to give you a little like cool off. I think that's actually what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I think if I'm not mistaken, that has actually made my face look quite nice. So next, I'm gonna try out the vitamin C 12.5% serum i haven't actually opened these products at all yet i literally received the package this morning oh okay, so this comes in a um this actually has like a squeezy lid usually serums have like a pipette but i actually prefer that it's got like a a pump instead so this one is it says radiance strength serum so this is just supposed to make your skin look nice and glowy which is what we all want so i'm gonna do let's see how much comes out Okay, I'll do two pumps for now. Ooh, that smells really orangey. It feels nice and like, it's not too thick, but not too thin. It's like a really nice consistency. Mm, that smells so nice. Yeah, I really like that. It's actually, it's quite tacky at the minute, but that's sinking into my skin really quickly, which I think is a good sign. And then I'm gonna take the Brightening Boost Eye Cream. <laughs> I was gonna try and pronounce that word again, but I've just given up. And I'm really excited about this eye cream because as you can see, I have permanent dark circles under my eyes. So I'm helping this and the little roller ball is gonna help me out a bit. Oh my God, <laughs> this pot is so tiny. It's adorable. I don't know how long that's gonna last though. For eight pounds, I think for such a small product, that's quite a lot for Revolution. It's only just a bit bigger than like a lip balm size. So depending on the results at the minute, First impressions are eight pounds is a little bit expensive for such a small pot, but it might be a really good serum. Got a poorly poo. I don't know what's up with him. He's acting just like really irritated. I think. I don't know, he's just like constantly biting his back legs and stuff. So I think something's irritating him, but we've taken him to the vets twice and they haven't really been any help. So we're not sure what's wrong. Wow, okay, this is so difficult to get into, what the heck? Ooh, quite heavy. I think obviously it's like metal, but oh, that's really nice. That feels really nice already. It's like quite like heavy at the end there. Um, and obviously really cold because I think it's metal. So yeah, I'm gonna scoop a bit of the eye cream up onto this little ball and just massage it in with the with the roller. Oh, it feels nice and soothing. But it's actually so nice. It's like I'm in a spa. I'm not sure whether to let it soak in naturally or press it in with my finger or not. I might just press it in with my finger a little bit. I've also got a little mini skincare fridge that I got from Beach just before Christmas. So if you put that roller in the fridge, that's gonna be so nice in the mornings and would actually probably really help with puffiness under the eyes because obviously the cold's supposed to help with that. Okay, so that feels really nice under my eyes. It's really soothing. I don't know if it's made a difference to my appearance immediately, but probably after using it for a while, it might. And then lastly, I'm just gonna go in with the SPF moisturizer. And obviously SPF is very good for keeping the UV rays off your face. I don't know. It's just, SPF is just good. And it comes in a very bougie glass pot that I like. Very nice. Ooh. It's even got one of these little lids on the inside. Okay, I'm just gonna take off the stuff that's on the lid because I don't want to go straight into the pop just yet. I'm just gonna dot this around my face. And this is just like, um, just a basic moisturizer, but for uh, normal to oily skin. And I'd say mine's very like combination. Like sometimes it can be really dry and other times it can be very oily. Like in the morning, it's quite oily around my nose and on my forehead. But like right after, or kind of just like for the rest of the day really, it's quite, dry again the consistency of this is really nice it's like thick but not heavy if that makes any sense mm, and again that's sinking into my skin really quickly so that concludes all of the new skincare that i've purchased from revolution they have a ton of skincare on the website now it was like so hard for me to decide what to pick up because i almost bought their other 
it's a vitamin C moisturizer because they have like a whole range of vitamin C. But instead I decided to just go for the moisturizer because it's more like multi-purpose and everyday. My skin is definitely feeling very like moisturized and cared for. I don't know how much of a difference it's made to my complexion immediately. You might have to go back to the very beginning of the video before I put anything on it and then kind of like see if it has. That's definitely what I'll be doing in a minute. But it feels nice. It's like so fresh. Um, everything smells really good. It all feels really nice on my skin. Like it feels like proper like luxury skincare rather than like cheap gimmicky skincare that doesn't really do anything. So this will definitely be my new skincare routine pretty much because I have just run out of most of my Pixie products. So this is literally gonna be what I'm gonna be putting on my face every day. And I might even do like a, like a week using video, if that makes any sense, where I look at the beginning of the week and end of the week to see if it's made much of a difference. Cause it's gonna be really interesting with the eye cream as well, because my dark circles are quite prominent. It's worse on this side because I've got like the natural light on that side. Um, and I've always had problems with my dark circles and I've tried everything and nothing's really helped it. So it'll be quite interesting to see if the revolution stuff does anything for it. But if you did enjoy this video, feel free to subscribe because I will be doing another video in the next couple of days of the avocado makeup range that they've done because I've got a few new bits in this box down here. And I've already got the avocado eyeshadow palette, so I thought I'd do like a whole video on the like really cute avocado eye heart revolution range. So I just take my hair down to outro this video so I look a bit more presentable. But hopefully you did enjoy today's video. If you did, please feel free to like, comment and subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye.